that I'm running out of yoga. This audition is Calm. very important to me. Gym. At the moment, I'm workout, smoothie, kale, more workout, more kale, bean salad. The only good thing about this bump it or bumper shithole. One cherry jubilee. Is this ice cream right here? How are you, Oliver? Then it's more traffic. Loser. Let's go all that stuff. Ice cream. Traffic. Loser. Ice cream. Traffic. Audition. Huh. Today's his birthday. He loved you, honey, and he'd be so proud of the fisherman you've become. Okay, let's try it again. Which one of these serial killer superstar? I just want to quickly commend whoever did that film <clears throat> for what I always appreciate is the simplicity and the clarity of everything involved. Everybody looked great, it, it, and the acting was great, the story was relatively simple, it was funny. And the one comment, again, feedback, <clears throat> the most interesting moment was when he was stabbing that guy and somebody threw a handful of red confetti up behind him. <laughs> and I, when I was sitting here, I said, I don't know if that was the worst part of this film or the best part of the film. My guess it was the best because it's what I'm going to be thinking about when I'm driving home. Tonight. I loved it. It was hilarious. And not only that, I would love to hire someone like that. Like, sometimes, like, when things are happening, it's like, really what's going on in your mind? Like, I really want to kill somebody. You know what I'm saying? And to visualize that, I'm like, kudos. Uh, it was great. The second thing is the highlight for me was when he was chasing the guy. And he chasing him, he reaches all the way out, and he, like, daintily grabs the guy's shirt and drags him back. I love that. But I actually liked it because I felt like, I could relate to that guy, like, you know, he seems very, like, quiet, he doesn't say what he thinks, so that's how I feel, you know, like, people tell you, you just suck it up, you know, mm -hmm. you're just like, alright, you're sucking it up, you know, mm -hmm. and then after a while, you're just like, you can't, um, how can you say it, you can't, you, you just can't yeah. take it, yeah. you just explode, and, you know, he actually had the courage to, like, kill whoever, you know, courage to kill, very relatable, I loved it, it was so quick and just to the point and just had amazing visual and mm -hmm. I loved every minute of it and it sort of reminded me of um, a, like a really uh, modern version of, uh, of American Beauty. I don't remember that movie that quite well but I remember seeing that and when the confetti you know was like all over the place I was thinking of American Beauty with the uh, the red rose petals. Okay. So I loved it. I thought the transitions were so good like mm -hmm. all the camera work was amazing and even when he had the audition and he's like um, you know start from the top fantastic whatever yeah. and I, the casting director went nuts like the camera worked to where it put him on the side and made him like small. Mm -hmm. I thought that was so great and symbolic and just the whole supporting like the cast the lead guy mm -hmm. totally gave me like Ferris Bueller vibes like he looked like a mix of uh, Matthew Broderick and like um, Johnny, like Johnny Depp, Depp together. together. Yeah, it was like I, I thought Johnny Depp and Cry Baby. Like that is. I was like, it's picture. so it's so good. He looks so good up there. And then like the supporting cast, even like I I don't know if y'all felt this, but I like got like little vibes of like the ice cream girl and him. Like she's got like a crush on him and everything. I just got this full on story going on in my head. So I was like, just everybody did such a good job. It was so well done. Um, from, you know, top to the bottom, just thought. One thing I liked about it was just, like, ha the absurdity of it, because it really <laughs> felt like it was really how he felt in each situation. So, like, yeah, even the, like, chasing his uh, roommate, like, the roommate running, it was like a horror, horror movie spoof at that point, because, yeah. like, he's running, he's sort of running, and the serial killer was just walking. Yep. But also just that juxtaposition of, like, it takes three kills to <laughs> be that, but, um... Yeah, what really got me is just like you kind of got that like him not getting the ice cream after dealing mm -hmm. with his douchey roommate like yeah. no don't don't worry not all actors eat that much kale <laughs> um and then like that um that really mean casting director and then mm -hmm. just he needed ice cream just to get through the day yeah and then it was like i really it's like yeah i could, I could get what pushed him sometimes you build your whole day around like one little thing like yeah. Like the cookie you're gonna have at the end of the night, or the whatever your treat is for yourself, like, and if it falls through, like. Yeah. Yeah. But I felt like it nailed that, just like when we all go through really shitty times, and a lot of us, we just need that one thing yeah. that gets us through it. Definitely.